We want some retention in this abutment, some stabilization for the crown. So I'm going to create a lingual and a buckle cusp here. I'm going to create a V into this uh, top of the abutment. What I do is I just mark a line down, down the uh, central fossa with the teeth there. Then I'll get my separating disc and create a V into that line creating a a buckle and a lingual cusp. I just cut into that red line that I that I drew on the abutment. Go down about half a millimeter. Now I will use my rubber wheel and smooth those sharp edges off. Just round them off. Go into the V that I created and smooth that off and modify that a little more. Round off the buckle okay so that'll give it some retention but I want to do a couple of other things as well On the buckle, I'm going to create a flat surface here for retention, stabilization. I use my rubber wheel on this as well, and just create a flat side. And on the distal, I'm going to put a little groove in it. I'll use a uh, slow speed or high speed burr to do that. Okay.
that's all that I do. I have the flat side. I have a retention groove here on the distal. I've made cusp also allowing for uh, more retention. I can double check it. If I need to make any more modifications I can at this point. But uh, overall it's uh, it's pretty much where I want it to be right now. Margin is dropped below the gingival. I have adequate retention now. Clearance so that I can build up a coping and then porcelain onto that coping. I'll put my screw in just to check it. And that is that is all I'm going to do at this point. There is one thing that I will do. To allow for uh, good bonding, I'm just going to go over this with a carbide burr. And just rough it up a little bit. Now I will always I will also sandblast this as well. Okay. Let's take a look at it on the die. Screw it back down. There we go. It's the lingual, there's the buckle. You're able to see a ledge of margin around this abutment. That's what we also want. As much as we possibly get. Now what I'll do here is from here <clears throat> I will start to wax the coping on this and before I wax my coping I will take some cotton and I will push it down in here cover the sprue or cover the screw I will still maintain this V shape in here so that I'll, ma I'll make sure the cotton is pushed down below that then I will paint one coat of dye spacer on it and I will make a uh, wax the coping on it then build a porcelain crown <laughs> 